dragon's breath is an actual dragon? Epa, Vaz. Inquisition, Nira Tafiyasara, Nirava Sadim Kata. His wrath now, please, Vinet Kata. Understood, ma'am. Change of plans. Nothing personal. Bas. Friggin' fool! Piss balls! I should have known. It was my duty to have known. This whole time? Just frig friggin' Lophorn, son of a pissin' shit! Urgh. I still don't understand how he could fight beside us for years and just... Come on. Let's move. We will not let you cut down.
Ashi. Itwa, Keratam! Why do the pretty ones have to run their mouths? Dragon first, then right up her business. Keep doing the thing. Oh, this will be legend. Inquisitor, you have such little time left. You must finally see the truth. Elven magic already tore the sky apart. If the agents of Ben Harrell are not stopped, you will shatter the world as well. The Inquisition has nothing to do with these agents. Come, Inquisitor. I am the eyes and ears of the Canari people. Do you think you can deceive me? You would have died from the mark on your hand, but for the help of one of their chief agents. The same agent who helped seal the breach, who led you to Skyhold, who gave Corypheus the orb, then founded the Inquisition. Solus, agent of Ben Harel. What? All along, that bastard was manipulating us. Solus tricked us all. He pushed a dying canary into the Winter Palace to lure you into opposing us. Without him, we could have brought the South peace and wisdom along the gentle path. Now we must take the way of blades. <laughs> Panahedan, Inquisitor. If it is any consolation, Solus will not outlive you. Solace. I'm killing Solace. Come on.
The Vida Sala cannot have gotten far. There, on them! It's going to... Everyone back! Ah! Ah! If it keeps up like this, it will kill you. Solus must help, as he did at Haven. Solus doesn't want to hurt people. He isn't that kind of wolf. The Canari don't see. from her or it hurts him.
ready. They have reinforcements.
Let us finish this. You are dead, Inquisitor. Your soul is dust. Use your hand. Ebesit kata etwa ost. Maras kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. Solas.
but should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. The Canari were trying to kill you. I wanted to get here first. I know. They sought an agent to fan her out. I am no one's agent but my own. I fear that the truth is much simpler and much worse than the Canari believe. You're Fen Harel. I was soulless first. Fen Harel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. You also know the burden of a title that all but replaces your name. You lied about everything. I understand your anger. In your position, I would share it. You're really him? I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the Elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. the false gods? You didn't kill them? You met Methol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. The Evanuris were elven mages? How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, finally gods, the Avenuris. You said that the elven gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithor. <laughs> crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanuris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. You love the Fade. Why would you create the Veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the Veil, the Avenuris would have destroyed the entire world. How did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Viadathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marbles, all dependent on the presence of the Fade, all destroyed. The elven legends of immortality, all true. It was not the arrival of humans that caused them to begin aging. Was me. The veil took everything from the elves, even themselves. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Solas, whatever you want, this world dying is not the answer. Not a good answer, no. Sometimes terrible choices are all that remain. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition, your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. You can.
control the Alluvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Alluvians are now mine. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization, and now it suffers the inevitable fate of such, betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple, isn't it? Perhaps we should ask your friend, the Iron Bull. Tell me, where is he? Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep? The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. So you let us do your dirty work? The mistake was yours to fix, Inquisitor. There's still the matter of the anchor. It's getting worse. Yes, I'm sorry. And we are almost out of time. The monk will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. If I live, I'm coming to stop you. I know. Take my hand. I'm sorry. Live well, while time remains. something must be done, but we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Canari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, none of us would be here to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. You all know what this is. A writ from Divine Justinia, authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order. With or without anyone's approval. The Inquisition saved the people of Ferelden when you couldn't. We are not disbanding. And we are certainly not submitting to an Empress who only sits on her throne because we kept her there. There's worse coming than anything you've yet seen. So we'll play nice. We'll bow. But not to you. The Inquisition will act as Divine Victoria's personal honor guard. Answering directly to her, we will transition from a military force into a peacekeeping organization. My own adventuring days may be done, 
but the Inquisition and its mission will continue.
My agents have found nothing. With the illusions, he could be anywhere. Maintaining the Inquisition, even as a peacekeeping force, leaves us vulnerable to agents of the Dread Wolf. But also gives us the strength to respond. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will stop Solus by any means necessary.
What is this? A new book? All this shit is weird. Oh, Verk, that is a terrible title. What are you even thinking? The sky churned like a rolling sea on a dark and stormy night, centered on a gaping hole that led to the arse end of nowhere. A hole that spit up many things that day, comets, demons, and a whole lot of trouble. <gasps> it's about the Inquisition. The din of the tavern cut the silence like it owed the carter money. In the middle, in her element, Red Jenny. She looked me up and down, mostly down. Not playing, weirdy, she said, gesturing with and dismissively eating a sandwich. Don't write that. Seriously, piss off a row. Sarah made the subtext text, which suited me fine. The court enchanter swirled into the room like a drop of beautiful poison spreading in a wine glass. She sized me up with a glass. I'm so glad you made it, my dear, she said. I am Madame de Fair, the most terrifying person you shall ever meet. Liliana enfolded Alphonse in an embrace as warm as a serpent's kiss. I always knew I could count on your support. The Count did not feel the bite of her poisoned dart until it was too late. Even if it requires your death. Drops of rain glistened on the griffin medallion grasped tightly in Blackwall's hand. And the silver eyed wings of valor, they mean nothing. He flung the medal to the cold and uncaring ground. You don't know what I've done. You don't know me. <sighs> so romantic. Cole moved like a shadow that also moved like a knife. A shadow wearing a hat where dreams came to die. It's a riddle, he whispered. A cold riddle that gnaws at your mind, but you'll feel better when it's gone. That makes as much sense as anything Cole says. Do you place your herald above the law, Ambassador? Whose law, my lady? Josephine's eyes glittered like angry opals. The law destroyed by rebellion, by civil war, by poor fiscal management. We are the law. We left our mark on Adamant, but the dust hadn't settled, and neither had Harding. I can offer you a drink, if I catch your meaning. If you caught my meaning, you'd have offered a double. What is even happening here? Iron Bull was a great slab of muscle with horns that could hang a tapestry. One eye scanned for threats, while the other hid behind an eye patch like a chantry sister's old sins. Come on, he barked, not looking back as he entered. 
The dancer with the great rack comes on in five. That is spot on, actually. The commander had the look of a Templar who had seen the worst of humanity, yet still had the time to style his hair. This isn't just a war, he said, his gaze steely like a dull blade. It's the only war. Cullen! That's Cullen! The mage wore a class of handsome sneer cultivated by a thousand years of Tevinta elitism. The name's Dorian, he glared. D-O-R-I-A-N. Spell it right, you marble-headed lump, or it's toad time. A toad? That's hardly credible. The bold elf spun, mage staff crackling like the city after a good man's murder. You're crazy, the Red Templar cried in terror. Moonlight glinted off ears like the knives you never see coming. Better to fade out than burn away. Ugh, very. Where am I? I don't... Oh, here it is. The Seeker clutched at my vest, her tears as desperate as they were pitiful. Varric, I was wrong about everything, she sobbed. Could you find it in your noble heart to forgive me? That dwarf, he... he... he put me in the book! <laughs> I am reading the shit out of this! <laughs>